Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 51, and this is war number 12, the last war of the season. We are locked in to Platinum 3. As you can see here, we are back in Tier 2, but it doesn't really matter if we win or lose this particular war. Um, as far as I know, winning will not get us into um, Platinum 2, and losing won't get us to Platinum 4. So we should be locked in. All right, so we already know. Uh, we're going up against an alliance called Midgard Titans. And we already know that we've got Corvus and CGR banned. In addition, we've got Mole Man, Venom, ugh, and Hulkling banned. All the nice ones, but guess what? We still got folk. So let's see what they got planned for us here. All right, we already know Magneto's coming in. And let's see. So we've got Mojo. Uh, we've got Omega Sentinel. Let's see. And we have Spot. Honestly, because Spot doesn't get... He doesn't get any benefit from that node. Neither does Mojo. Omega Sentinel does. But I'm thinking Gladiator can handle uh, can handle that. Omega Sentinel. He can handle that spot. Um, I can bring in Titania for Mojo, but honestly, there's a few that I could bring in for Mojo. Red Guardian, I could bring in for Mojo. Spider-Man 2099, who I haven't used in a while. I can bring him in for Mojo, but why not bring in my seven-star rank two Titania if I can? All right, let me look, because I see that we have a war plan already out. All right, so who does he have me going in with? Ah, he has me going in with Bullseye, Titania and Magneto. Okay. So he has Bullseye instead of uh Gladiator, but everyone else is who I would uh bring in. So let's see. Mojo, he has me with Titania, agreed. Omega Sentinel, Magneto. Yep, Magneto can do that fight. No problem. Um Ant-Man Future, Magneto, yep. And Spot, he has uh for Bullseye. All right, we can do that. Um, honestly, Bullseye or Gladiator could do it, but I actually uh, am good with these suggestions, so we're going to go in with that. So we're going to go in with Bullseye, Magneto, and Titania. Beautiful. All right, let's get on with the fighting. Okay, so I'm going in here with Titania, Bullseye and Magneto. Now, this war, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, was one sloppy war. I know it was the last war of the season, and I think both uh, our opponents and uh, my teammates probably just kinda were taking it easy. Cause it really didn't matter whether we won this war or lost this war, we're still gonna be uh, platinum three as I understand it. But if we win, we'll start the next season in tier two and that'll give us a little bit of an advantage. So there is a reason to win this last war, okay? So first up, we're gonna be fighting Mojo. Now, if you guys have fought Mojo, you know that one of the main things about him is the D-Gen, he punishes your buffs. Well, guess what? Titania is buff immune. 
no degen I have to worry about there for the buffs, all right? So we're just going in. Now, I had someone leave a comment giving me pointers on how to use uh, Titania. That came after this video, so uh, I'm still learning because I don't use Titania very often, but that should tell you how powerful she is. Even though I'm not using her that well, we're still getting it done. Now, what I need to be doing here, like right here, parry, I think, uh, let me see, parry, heavy, and now the special three. That's supposed to give me double the, uh, the um, debuffs, right? So just look at, look at his health. And now I'm charging in, going in, just going in, don't matter, bam. He's down. So probably not the perfect Titania fight, but as you can see, she up. Big thickums. All right, now this next fight is against Omega Sentinel. She's metal. So Magneto, okay? Looking at there, she gets armor ups, okay? And she's a global defender, but Magneto's magnetism should shut her down okay so we should be fine right so here we go parry you know she's magnetized now wait that's an armor up she just got two armor ups what now she's got four armor ups. what's going on i'm getting power burned it's, it's almost like my magnetism isn't working look at this and so i'm sitting here like what is going on look at this and i'm like i can't win now, I could have played her a little bit differently if I knew what I know now. But I was like, wow. Now, I could have played her normally, like, you know, not doing double hits and everything. And we might have been able to get her down. But what you guys just saw is something that both our war planner and myself didn't know. I went and researched to see why that just happened. If you look at Omega Sentinel's kit, she cannot have her ability accuracy reduced by mutants. So that means Magneto will not work against her. If you need, you know, to shut down her armor ups and all that good stuff, won't work. So the magnetism wasn't doing a thing for her. She was just laughing it off. OK, and so I asked, I told him that and he was like, oh, man, because <clears throat> neither one of us knew. So he was like, can you try uh, Bullseye? And I was like, oh, I can get her down. You know, I'm not stuck. We just may not have any attack bonus left when I'm done. And he's like, OK, you know, just just get her down. All right. So that's what I did. Now, Bullseye, you can see he gets all crits. And you see, I'm trying to. Bait it, bait it, you know, slow playing it, medium lights, bait out her specials, which will make her use her armors. But look at this, man. That's a lot of uh, damage. All right. So I'm just like, OK, I'm not going to be able to get his special with her power burning me like that, you know. So I'm like, well, we'll just try to get as much damage in as possible. You know, there's nothing else I could do. All right, so you can see here. And then I'm so mad, because I went and I went with the striker trying to get some extra damage in, and I got knocked out while the striker was out. <clears throat> I was like, whatever. You know, kind of figured that's what was gonna happen, so I went ahead. Now, with Titania, she also will not work because Omega Sentinel cannot be staggered. So all of the staggers, that's not gonna keep, see the immune? That's not gonna keep her armors up either. I basically just did not have uh, a good counter for her on my team here. So all we could do is get her down. And I'm like, oh, come on, really? And then evade? I was like, really? Really? I couldn't even get that little last hit in. An evade, it's like they're on a rubber band. Evade and smack. I'm like, whatever. So there are no, um, 
there's no uh, uh, attack bonus on on this node. Okay, so I, I have to go ahead and um, revive, and I'm really like I don't know if I want to use a lot of uh, resources on this, you know. And so we went ahead and you know almost almost got taken out again you know look at this this is just like what in the world so i just went ahead and look down to one percent are you kidding me this was i i was basically laughing at this point and i saw that invite up and i'm just like yeah no i gotta do this so I'm just like, I can't even believe this. I'm like, this is just ridiculous. But since there's no attack bonus, it don't really matter. So there's no point in, you know, going all out on this uh, node. So that was ugly. I think you won't see, hopefully, you won't see that ever again. You know, I don't think I've ever, have I? Yeah, I have. I have um, gotten zeros before but it's been a long time you know and it's usually when they tell me just go ahead and get her down get him down you know then i'm just gonna go in with just the uh you know one goal loyalty revive and just go ham and just get him down but yeah so what should we have done there gladiator Gladiator should have come in instead of Magneto. Gladiator could have taken that fight and could take this fight as well. So, for the future, we know. Uh, also, Corvus. Of course, he's globally banned, um, but I think he's going to be whitelisted next season. But I can't remember if next season is a new meta. I mean, it's just, it's a mess um, how they've done things. Uh, but you'll notice that I didn't even heal up because I'm just like, first of all, I know Magneto can do this fight and he is super tanky. So unless I really mess up bad, I'm going to get this fight down. No problem. Okay. So I knew I didn't need to have uh, full health to do this fight. Um, but yeah, next next season, I don't know if the um, meta changes or what, but I am looking forward to having Corvus um, whitelisted. That'll be really nice, okay? And then, especially for my, um, my path, he's going to be awesome. So, yep, they got their season with him out. In fact, they have two seasons because... They had one season where they just kept banning him. Then they had another season where he was blacklisted. And so now, finally, I'll be able to use him freely. I think. I think that's how that works. All right. Anyway, now we're fighting uh, up against Spot. And honestly, Spot used to be a very, very tough defender. But... I kind of gotten used to fighting him and I know now some of the things I need to do to keep his spots under control. One of the things you need to do is to um, punish his special. Um, and I believe it's both his specials. I'm not sure. I usually end up punishing his uh, special one. But when you punish it, his spot generation goes on cooldown and you'll see it up there and while it's on cooldown he can't get any more spots so you can just go ham okay um so that's kind of what i was thinking uh and i got these kind of by mistake these are the level fours and i kind of meant to do the level fives but you know i was uh i forget what i was doing at this time but i was kind of distracted um, probably was thinking about something I was going to do for my next stream or something. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, as you can see, three of them weren't enough. 
to uh, get him all the way up. And see, I, I scrolled down. I was like, oh, I meant to do those. I was like, all right, whatever. Should be fine. All right. So here we go. And of course, you have the auto block. So I also want to build up my uh, clarity charges. So I'm trying to do it very, you know, patiently. Now, here's what I was talking about. All right. Punished it. Now, you see the he can't get spots right now. OK. Here he goes again, punish it, bam. Can't get spots right now. And then we just go in. Now he, he just got a spot during the special because the cooldown ran off. And ooh, I love that evade. It probably saved me from uh, some damage, but there. So spot, not really a problem. Um, bullseye, I think people under rate bullseye on attack bullseye is actually a very good attacker you will see him most of the time on defense but he's actually a really good attacker so in battlegrounds he's a double threat because you don't know whether i'm going to use him if you didn't ban him um you don't know if i'm going to use him for attack or for defense either one okay now what i'm doing right here I forgot who I was supposed to fight next. So I'm going to the uh, spreadsheet and I'm like, okay, um, did I have another mini that I needed to fight? And if I did, who was it? And I saw that it was Red Skull. And I'm like, okay, Red Skull, we've got that root, which you guys already know I don't like. And we're going to use Magneto. I am not going into this fight with confidence. I don't like the route, but I'm not sure, especially after what just happened with Magneto against uh, Omega Sentinel, I'm not sure how well he's going to do against this Red Skull. So I'm like, all right, well... The bubble shield is going to be a problem because a lot of times I have a hard time parrying him. And so he's going to be hitting my block a lot. I can't bait his heavy out because that bubble shield. This time I got the right um, uh, potions, as you saw. And so I'm just like, okay, let's do this. We should be able to um, do pretty well against... Uh, Red Skull, but again, not confident, okay? You saw that I put on an invulnerability boost because I'm not confident, all right? So he's magnetized now, and I can't parry him, okay? There we go. That went fine. I parried him there, but then no parry, and he's hitting into my block a lot, okay? Just look at it. Bam, he's unblockable. There goes my indestructible, just like that. Now I'm uh, rooted. So you know I'm already screaming on the inside, right? Okay. And I'm just like, man, I'm not able to build up my uh, prowess. Okay. But I'm just like, okay. We might be able to do this. You know, let me build up to a, a special three. And then build my prowess up. All right. So here we go. We want to bait that out. Uh, and yeah, that happens. Then I'm triggered with the root again okay so at this point i'm waiting out the um, unstoppable there he goes he went um unblockable but you know we're good there's the root so i couldn't follow up all right i'm still trying to parry him just can't parry him all right there's the root again so between trying to parry him and getting rooted i'm getting very frustrated at this point okay so you see how i'm, I'm back there building up my prowess. I'm like, that's the only way I'm going to have to do it. And then I'm like, let me just throw this special because it don't look like it's going to work the way I'm trying to get it to work. I am not liking this fight at all. Okay. The way that I normally play Magneto doesn't seem like I can play him that way here. Okay. And then look at that. All into my block, unblockable. And he's, there you go with the root again. Look at it. I'm just swinging in the air because that um, root rooted me right out of um, range 
so I couldn't get to him. Okay? Very annoying. Very, very annoying. All right? And triggering. But whatever. All right? Here we go. And here we go with the root again. Okay? And I'm just like, all right, look. Look at that. I'm trying to do something. Can I parry you? You know? Something. So here we go. There we go. Didn't parry him. So this time I just fired off my special. But it's kind of too late now to um, change up my style. I should have changed it up earlier and just fought him normal. Instead of, instead of doing the parry heavy, if I had just gone in normally doing, you know, special one and special two attacks and stuff like that, we might have been able to get this fight. Okay? But just look at this, man. It's ridiculous. I could have had this fight. And then look, I tried to attack and I got rooted again. It's like getting my, my shoes tied together. As soon as I try to move, somebody grabs my shoes. And let me tell you, that's a good way to get me to stomp you out. If you do that to me in real life, I, I get triggered. I don't, I don't like being restrained like this. Okay. So we went down, but I'm just like, you know what? I don't even care. So I'm like, you know what? I did not enjoy that fight at all. Okay. And so now I'm thinking, do I want to go back in with Magneto? You know, I'm, I'm looking over this and I'm just like, do I, do I want to go back in with Magneto? Because I could probably do it if I fought normally, just five hit combos, specials, whatever. But I said, let me try something, because I don't think he's immune to bleed, right? So, look at this. Now I'm just going in. Yep, he's not immune to bleed. Look at it. Oh, look, I parried him. This is going much better. Look at that. Auto block failed. Look at this. Doom, doom, doom. Whoa. Why didn't I go in there with um, uh, Bullseye in the first place? I think I would have done way better with Bullseye over Magneto for that fight. Just me personally. All right. So that's it for my fight. All my fights in this war. And we'll be back and you'll see how the final war of the season ended. And we're back, and we finished the season with a win. Now, I want y'all to see this. Look at this. They didn't even finish all three bosses. They only got two bosses down. And check out their, um, the, the defender kills. This is why I said, I think they were just like, this is the last war. We don't care. Let's just practice. Let's just play around, try some things. Basically, treat it like a off-season war and see how it goes okay uh shout out to our uh mvps but that is going to do it thank you all for watching take care i will see you next war season and you all have a blessed day arena and chill grind that's how we roll no stress no drama just on patrol in the fight he swift his tactics be tight those shadows in the arena ready to ignite from the streets to the screen his skills be renowned in the world of marvel lord the king Prince.